think of is an absolutely historic visit of Prime Minister Modi uh, to the United States. We together successfully took uh, this critical bilateral relationship to the next level. For me, it's the most important bilateral relationship on the planet, but it is clearly ascended to the top level. India is one of the most sought after players on the global stage. We think of is an absolutely historic visit of Prime Minister Modi uh, to the United States uh, for the state dinner for a week of celebrating the U.S.-India relationship. I think we together successfully took uh, this critical bilateral relationship to the next level. And I think without question, uh, for me, it's the most important bilateral relationship on the planet, but it is clearly ascended to the top level and top layer. And I think both countries leave with both a, a long to-do list, but a much greater sense of confidence about what we can do together. First of all, I, I don't think it's a secret that India is one of the most sought after players on the global stage. You see a number of countries seeking to build deeper, more consequential relationships in trade and technology and people to people with India. And I'm just happy to say that the United States has taken its own step to develop much further the relationship between the two sides. I've been involved in U.S.-India relations for almost 30 years, and I can tell you in the period leading up to the arrival of Prime Minister Modi here in Washington, D.C., the level of trust and confidence between uh, the U.S. and Indian uh, interlocutors was just notably different. I think there was a time where we engaged each other with a little bit of trepidation. That was gone. There was a real sense of common purpose, of working together, of building and constructing a bilateral relationship for the ages, for the future. There is an undeniable strategic component to this relationship. Um, and I think that sense of uh, changing geostrategic uh, realities is felt in both Delhi and in Washington, D.C. But I will also tell you, I have seen personally the connections between our peoples. I saw the tremendous sense of appreciation and dignity um, of uh, the diaspora Indian Americans that felt finally India is getting its due. I think the United States and India f share an enormous number of values. And I think it is simplistic to say that we're so different. Every country has differences. We come from different traditions, different histories. But at the same time, we share many things in common and not least of which are educational aspirations, goals and objectives for a free, uh, open Indo-Pacific, working closely to secure peace and stability. I think there is enough common purpose in the relationship to propel us forward.